Could Wei Wei Shen control Hua Chong with his flute? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> it's because he's the grand master and this guy's the ghost king, right? Yeah, I mean, what's your interpretation? Hmm. I have my own interpretation. So like right off the bat, I'm like, this twink has nothing on Hua Chong. Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> but also I haven't read the book and I'm sure he's actually like super powerful. Hmm. So let's say he is like the most powerful guy. Maybe Hua Chung could like feel kind of like a Mount Tonglu like presence overcoming him a little bit. Like, you know how Hua Chung is able to warn Shi Lian that like, yeah, the volcano's opening up. Yeah, I should probably lock myself in a cage or something. <laughs> and then he's immediately like, I'll take you back, go yeah. stay. Go go stay. Like, I want to say like Hua Chung is like all powerful because what makes Wei Wu Shen so badass? Like, give me some of his accolades. He basically can like control course. I think it's mostly the people die, and whereas cultivators usually try and help their soul, you know, kind of pass on, he'll be like, hell no, I'm gonna Get use in the box. people's hatred. <laughs> yeah, they have the, he has the ice box for these people's like resentful energy <laughs> to keep it alive. Um, and if they died in a bad way, he can basically be like, come the fuck out and help me. Like, I'm gonna use all that evil energy. He also I have a feeling Xi Lian and Wei Wuxian would not get along. Wei <laughs> Wuxian did manage to get the most powerful sect in the cultivation world to like give him the info he wanted just by threatening to count to three. So it's pretty powerful. Everyone, everyone's scared shitless of him because he has Wen Ning. He basically has him like, I don't want to say like his pet, but he's like his right hand. And everyone's like, Whoa. The thing that makes it like hard to really compare is that like Modazushi is not like, it doesn't really deal with gods and demon mm -hmm. kings at all. It's like all humans. Yeah. Humans. Okay. So I've got my answer. I've got my answer. Yeah. I feel like Hua Chung would like feel a little tingle and be like, oh, that twink's trying to control me again. <laughs> Again. The way that I interpret it is, uh, first of all, Hua Chung would obliterate Wei <laughs> It like if, if we're talking just like anime power level, like his power level is so high to begin with. But second, if you want to actually break it down, um, one, especially if he's like with Shi Lian, like he doesn't really have like resentful energy mm, exactly in the world because of like I mean he he did have hatred. Like, yeah, but like, he stayed for love. So it's love. like, love, it's like, different. And especially like when he's finally together with Shi Lian, like he's in stuff. Like he, he's not really like harboring like the same resentment levels. So Wei Wu Shen could have like f***ed up Wu Ming. He might've, he might've, but here's the other thing. It's not, I feel like the spirit and like the like, the ghost is different than like, he could have probably taken Kua Chung's dead body. Oh, uh, okay. Ooh, that's true. It kind of diverges there. Exactly. Cause it's just like, you know, Hua Chung is like a spiritual entity. He He's yeah. not, uh, not his body. He's not a vessel. He's not like a body. Yeah. But like, you know, yeah, Wei Ying totally could have gone to like the battlefields of Shenle and like toot 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 and little hunter. <laughs> Like, Controversial hot take. I think even if Hua Chung was just a dead body, like he was just a ghost demon, whatever corpse in his dead body, and he was full of hatred, but he was at his power level that he has in the book, there would be no fucking way he could control him. I agree <laughs> He's too. Way too powerful. Okay, okay, you guys. I thought I was being baited to be like to say like Hua Chung's supremacy and then get shot down by how powerful he is, but I'm like, come on, he's the yeah. ghost king. Hua Chung's supremacy. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'm so glad we're here with Hua Chung supremacy. At the end of the day, Wei Wuxian is still human. So, yeah, as the Yiling patriarch, it was like, he also was like going like actually insane and like would lose control of the shit. Mm -hmm. Like, all the time. weak ass. Also, Wei Wuxian was killed because he was torn apart by the vengeful spirits. Yeah, come He's on. Like, yeah. Hua Chung probably watches him sometimes. Hua Chung's <laughs> died like 900 times. That's cute. Aww. Yeah. Like, Wei Wuxian died and like had to be brought back, but Hua Chung kept coming back. Yeah, no, there's no way. Best. <laughs> I think like the real, whenever people argue like who would win between like the Red Blacks, it's like the debate is between like Hua Chung and like Luo Binghe because mm -hmm. like- He has the protagonist Halo. He has protagonist Halo and- um, he's And he's also a demon king. Can't die because he's the main character of this book that yeah. was written from another universe. So they're like, ah, uh, main characters can't die. Like I, I said, I said so. So that's how it is in the book. That so we literally can't die. So people are like, sorry, but Bingha would win. He literally can't die. 
uh, people say like, what if he came? What if like Bing Hu came to TGCF universe? And right. Like, fuck anymore. Then I think fuck. <laughs> I'm a watching Hua Chung supremacy. supremacy. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the sense that I get. But I'm also just. I play favorites. Favorites. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm in love with him. I hope you guys liked this video. If you'd like to help support my channel, you can purchase my Dan May print shirt or join my YouTube membership where there are different perks depending on which tier you sign up for. Also be sure to follow my friends on Twitter, click subscribe, click like. How many things can I fit into one end screen? Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.